Sometimes it's hard to marry new products into an old house. If you have a look at this classic old weatherboard, it's got some brickwork, sandstone crazy pave, lots of timber and a tin roof. Pretty iconically Australian. But if you went and put a bright shiny new paver straight off this sandstone, it would make that look as crook as rookwood, wouldn't complement each other and it'd end up making the new pavers look bad as well. So if I was to step back and look at this, I would probably think we need to entertain here and soften between there and what's here to complement the two but give it a contrast. So if we came out here and paved that area and created some steppers through here, now I've deliberately drawn them differently because I think I'd put a garden edge down here to incorporate this into the garden bed and you can plant this area out. covers and then put an edge through there and then pave here. Now a big large square or rectangle can be a tad boring when it comes to paving so maybe we break it up by introducing some raised garden beds which gives us a little bit of height and it also gives us some extra seating because you'll end up with about three or four hundred mil on the top which even if you've got a big bum like mine is still plenty of space to sit. So when you're entertaining the masses, you've got plenty of room for extra seating that you don't have to drag out from the shed. Now in these, you might do something like herbs and veggies because chances are you're gonna put the barbecue out here. The clothesline has been deleted and moved further down the backyard. I reckon you'd get rid of this dodgy treated pine raised garden bed and you'd also get rid of those windows. So I'd probably plant this area out, still give you access down the side with some more stepping stones. Good spot for hot spots. You could draw all the numbers on there and the kids could have a bit of fun playing hopscotch. But I'd definitely screen this area out with a hedge. And while you're waiting for the hedge to grow up, maybe plant this fence so you're not looking at this daggy old treated pine. But I reckon the darker the colour the better because it makes the plants pop. So you've got your barbie, you've got a reason to be out there, you're entertaining. I use a large format paver in an area like this just because it makes the space look bigger and cleaner. You've got your raised garden beds with herbs and veggies in it. I might put a citrus in each of them. So you've got lemons and limes for your mojitos, if you know what I'm talking about. You've got plenty of room for your table and lots of reasons to leave the back of the house and to come out into the garden. Now you've got the space, you've got your garden bed. I would probably start here with pebbles and plant something that eventually is gonna take over from them. So mini mondo grass, zoysia grass, um, native violet, something like that. The two areas are far enough away from each other because this is pretty much a garden bed that they'll complement each other rather than contrast each other.